Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is our second match of the day. It is a West African derby between Cameroon and Nigeria. The Frankfurt attacking on the big ogres right here. I have the captain for Cameroon with me here, Sinera, alongside the captain for Nigeria, Favor, and the umpire from Zimbabwe, Tafuzwa, ready to conduct their toss. Tiles is the call and heads is on top. Snera, you have won the toast. What will you be doing this afternoon? <laughs> Obviously, uh, why have you chosen to bat first? Well, because uh, we want to increase our scores. Uh, what, uh, any changes in the team that played yesterday? Thank you so much, Captain. All the best in the match. Favor, if you had gotten a chance to get hold of this toast, what are you going to do? So what is the plan as you go into if you go in for the West for the Sunday? Any changes in the team? Yeah, Krista the Chukwoye is going out. Abigail Ibobe is coming in. Kiss the side is going out. Then Rachel Kamuka is coming in. Thank you so much, Captain. All the best. You've heard it loud and clear there. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Cameroon up against Nigeria. And the news from the center. Cameroon have won the toss and they will be batting first. We shall be back with the live comment. Falling to the hands of Uganda yesterday. Cameroon falling to the hands of Botswana yesterday and both of them will be look both teams will be looking for the first victory in this tournament. It will be a game that should be living up to the bidding. Open the bowling there for Team Nigeria is Ude Lilian. One of the frame bowlers there for Nigeria, Udelidian. The captain for Cameroon says he wants to see her batter scoring some runs, and that's why she took a decision to bat first. Off with some pace outside of Stam. Swing, but no contact onto that one. What a way to commence the innings here at Gahanga International Stadium. Good to see how Lilian is starting now. Lillian bowling to Madeleine. There she goes for the timber. Misses the lane. All her deliveries here. Another one to the stumps. Some flashing blade there. It that gets the edge of the bat. Straight outside of stump. Slow foot move. Another full pitch delivery there up in the air. Who? Another outside of star swing. Into the block hole, straight to the fielder there at point. That marks the end of the fifth over, but what a brilliant play there from anointed Akibe. Just conceding one run in that over. Nine for three is where Cameroon stands. Projected is 36. Some of the players there for Rwanda have kept around the ground, but there is a change in the commentary box as about to start. It's a full one now. Oh, it bounced over metal stamp. Raise the shot. 
people delivery clean bold. Yeah, I'd love to see the umpire give that wide. Another swing and a miss. Celebration moment there for the female yellow greens. Peculiar Agboye comes back for Nigeria. Up in the air, a chance for a catch, and that is beautiful. Change it. Goes and building strong foundations. To the pads, the umpire does no mistake. Another cross batting there. This time it pays off. Oh, that is a beautiful chance for a wicket. Loud appeal, and the umpire says that's out. Well, that's out. Full delivery and hit high up in the edge. Gonna be safe. Couple of bounces and goes into the. This time, Biru with that punch beautifully through the covers for four more. That is the dugout there for the female yellow greens on your screen. A couple of players in there Salome Sande, Favor, I beg your pardon, Anointed Akib. What McCoy? Songa. Short, wide, punched beautifully. On to the offside, four more. <laughs> in this tournament looking forward to that one driven beautifully through extra cover big chase on but the ball wins the race Very good i have to say it was always outside of stamp good discipline how does she start this time it's hit uppishly there is a fielder coming around from long on but never say never triple hat trick <laughs> full delivery and he's had an edge big appeal and it is there we start. Area, what a way for the big ogres to get off the mark. Never SCB unbeaten with her 12, I beg your pardon, the 11 of 12, two fours and a strike rate of 9.16. But Esther Sandy, who has been so, so fired up, she had a strike rate of 140, scoring 14 runs after facing 10 deliveries. Lucky Pate with one of one. What a performance there from the female yellow greens to get their first victory in this match. Yeah, it's done a lot of good for their net run rate. And uh, they'll be looking to really move up the order. Not much to write home about. One for 12 for Edrigwe. Picking up the only wicket. And only one extra. As uh, it only took three and a half overs. But what a bowling performance by Uda Lillian. Four for seven or four overs. And good support by Ogbia Peculia. Adishilo. I didn't call it two for six and one for three. Wow.